Apple's iPhone 14 Pro is set to be the phone that, phone that could shake up the iPhone range by potentially bringing in a notably different design from the iPhone 13 Pro. So far, the rumors have hinted at everything from the depth of the notch to the return of Touch ID. This is probably well overdue as good as the iPhone 13 Pro is, it's arguably not a definitive upgrade over its predecessor and overall the iPhone hasn't taken a huge leap forward since the iPhone 11 Pro. There were some early rumors that Touch ID could make a return in the form of an under-display fingerprint scanner, however, the jury is still out on how likely this is. Analysis Ming Chi Kuo recounts that there won't be a there won't be an iPhone with Touch ID or under display face ID for another few years. This would have been pretty disappointing as during these mass squaring times having an alternative to face ID is very handy. But with iOS 15.4, Apple has made it so that Face ID can recognize a legitimate user even when they are, they are wearing a mask. It works remarkably well, meaning Apple may have bypassed the need for fingerprint-centric biometrics. We have only had one leak address the color options for the iPhone 14 Pro. A Chinese leaker claimed that alongside the familiar graphite silver and gold, gold Pro iPhone colors, the new option for this year would be a dark purple. You can see that below in another set of renders, this one coming from artist Sota. In May, Mac rumors summarized the status of iPhone 14 color rumors thus far with the addition of the purple purple option the most radical change otherwise the report has the black white blue and red options that make up the current iphone 13 and 13 sections the pink and green colors would be dropped this time around as for the iphone 14 pro and iphone 14 pro max the new purple hue would join silver gold and graphite as the reported color options. Both the Sierra Blue come color available since the iPhone 13 Pro's launch and the Alfin Green version introduced in the spring would be a drop from the lineup. iPhone 14 Pro USB-C There are rumors that suggest Apple would finally go the USB-C port route with the iPhone 14 Pro and that would make sense as many of its devices already have USB-C connectivity. However, more recent rumors claim their Apple will stick with Lightning over USB-C but switch to updated Lightning ports with faster USB 3.0 data transfer. That comes as the EU moves closer to making USB-C the standard charger for portable devices like the phones. For some people, USB-C on the iPhone 14 Pro would be a must-have feature. In fact, the lightning connector is arguably the worst thing about the iPhone as it can wear over the time. This can make it very difficult to ch charge your phone. Unfortunately, Apple is unlikely to abandon Lightning unless it has to, given how established the standard and its ecosystem of accessories already is. Meanwhile, Ming Chi Kuo predicts that Apple will switch the iPhone to USB C, but not until late 2023. If he is correct, and a new report in Bloomerang suggests that he is, it means we won't be seeing an official USB-C iPhone until the iPhone 15 arrives. iPhone 14 Pro Display 
one of the biggest upgrades of the iPhone 13 Pro delivered was a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate display thanks to the use of an LTPO panel the screen could go from 120Hz to as little as 10Hz when a fast refresh rate was needed and thus that helps save on battery life according to some rumors the iPhone 14 Pro could build upon this and scale down to as little as 1 hertz reducing the power drain of a display and this could enable the reported use of an always on display long rumored to be an upcoming feature for next gen iphones bloomerang's mark german has claimed the iphone 14 pro will finally get an always on display and it will be used to show weather calendars stocks activities and other data on the lock screen with the low with the a low refresh rate helping preserves the battery life the revamped iOS 16 lock screen previewed by Apple in June seems to set the stage for this feature. In contrast, the standard iPhone 14 models are now tipped to get a 90Hz display which would be an upgrade over the 60Hz of the iPhone 13 but not quite up there with the Pro phones. As for screen sizes, according to Ross Young, the iPhone 14 Pro could increase in size from 6.06 inches to 6.12 inches and the iPhone 14 Pro Max from 6.68 to 6.69 inches. This will apparently be because of rumored similar bezels and new notch design. Don't expect a big change in the number of cameras the iPhone 14 Pro will bring as the Pro phones are tipped to stick with the standard combo of a main ultra wide and telephoto array. Given how Apple phones regularly feature in our best camera phones lineup, that's no bad thing. But one leak has the iPhone 14 Pro tipped to get a 48 megapixel main camera which could finally make a change from the 12 megapixel cameras Apple has used for years. While Cupertino's computational photography is some of the best around, having more megapixels to play with would likely give the iPhone 14 Pro more scope when it comes to processing light and details. We could be at a time where megapixels matter once more to Apple. But a regular Apple tipster has the standard iPhone 14 models tipped to stick with 12 megapixel cameras, with only the Pro models expected to get a 48 megapixel main camera. No changes have been touted for the ultra wide camera, but we'd surprised if some effort wasn't made to improve the field of view and help remove some edge distortion. And there's a scope for the telephoto camera to get a zoom boost as an Apple patent points toward the company working on a periscope style zoom camera. If such a feature was going to debut in an iPhone, it could be for the iPhone 14 Pro. But to muddy the waters, Apple Oracle Ming Chi Kuo claims the periscope camera won't appear until the iPhone 15 in 2023. The lack of a telephoto upgrade for this year could make the iPhone 14 Pro a real lit down. Analyst Ming Chi Kuo claims all models of the iPhone 14 will get an upgraded front facing camera. It looks like this will involve a new wider aperture, a more complex six part lens and the addition of autofocus for the first time. Together this should allow the iPhone's selfie, selfie snapper to take brighter photos that are easier to shoot thanks to the autofocus and that will be less prone to distortion. For more see our iPhone 14 cameras round up for all the biggest remote upgrades. iPhone 14 Pro specs and battery life. Following on from the A15 Bionic, we'd expect to see an A16 Bionic chip in the iPhone 14 Pro series, 
with improved performance across the board according to alleged benchmarks. However, a suite of rumors thus far have the iPhone 14 tipped to stick with the A15 Bionic chip which would create a disparity between the model's core specs. This would be a first for Apple as it has always equipped new iPhones with upgraded silicon. Ming-Chi Kuo has thrown his weight behind this cheap rumor adding that Apple plans to ship more iPhone 14 Pro models than standard iPhone 14 S. The latest A16 processor will be exclusive to two iPhone 14 Pro or high-end models significantly boosting the shipment proportion of new iPhone high-end models in 2022 to 55 to 60%. The iPhone 14 is likely to offer a distinct hike in processor, graphics and neural processing performance over the A15 Bionic. How much that will be noticeable to the average user might not be so closer. Storage is likely to go up to 1 TB, but there have been no solid storage rumors for the iPhone 14 Pro yet. A source from Weibo claiming to know the battery capacity of the iPhone 14 family shows that all models except the iPhone 14 Pro Max will be getting a slight increase in size. The iPhone 14 Max is in fact shrinking a little, but hopefully not enough to impact the phone's overall battery life. We'd be confident that the iPhone 14 Pro will match or exceed the 11 hours and 42 minutes the iPhone 13 Pro did in our battery test, which forces the phone to endlessly reload web pages on a cellular connection until it dies. The phone the iPhone 13 Pro Max managed a lengthy 12 hours and 16 minutes, so we'd expect the iPhone 14 Pro Max to do the same as better as Apple Boost, cheap and phone efficiently. As for 5G, we are expecting the iPhone 14 Pro to use a new smaller 5G modem chip. The smaller size should mean it take, takes less more to run and that there could be extra room for the battery to expand into. That would mean the already impressive battery life of the iPhone 13 can be improved upon even more. Sadly, it's looking like the iPhone 14 Pro might miss out the advancements made by Qualcomm's new 5G chip, the Snapdragon X70. The chip will include a 5G AI processor, the first of its kind, which should allow the modern system to use artificial intelligence to optimize a phone's antenna and better manage 5G beams going to and for, from a 5G phone. Qualcomm figures that will be particularly useful for MM web based 5G networks in places like stadiums and arenas too. AI can also help manage sub, sub 6 Hz 5G signals as well. In addition to its cellular and Wi-Fi connectivity, the iPhone 14 could also gain the ability to connect to satellite networks. That's feature that first emerged in the build up to last year's iPhone 13 launch while the capability didn't arrive in time for those phones. Reliable tipster says emergency satellite communications are a possibility for the iPhone 14 models. The idea is that when you are an area without good cellular or Wi-Fi connectivity, you can send text messages to emergency services over satellite networks alerting them to your location.